You know, Sherry, it really is an interesting story. It really is to me because I've been in this community, well, I'm 55 years old. I haven't lived here the entire time, but I never knew this place existed. Mm -hmm. And here you are, new to the community, relatively, your husband from Australia. You live in this wonderful neighborhood, a member of the Martin Luther King Neighborhood Association. You've got a great story to tell here. So, so tell us more about your gardening and how that brought people together and how we got to where we are here today with the London Feral Community Garden. Well, as we began to um, settle in the neighborhood and uh, get to know our neighbors, um, we knew that it was going to take time. And um, it was unexpected that our hobby of gardening and growing food would be the pathway for us to meet other people. Um, and as we gardened and as we shared what we grew and made friendships, we recognized that it's a real privilege um, to have your own spot of land to do that. And so we spent lots of time walking uh, around the neighborhood, and we couldn't help but notice the uh, wide open space uh, next door, not knowing at all the history of, um, of that land and this land that, that we're on in the cemetery. And so we thought we'd find out who's in charge and how do we get a community garden there. Wow. And the group that is working with that is Seedleaf. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've had the opportunity to visit with Becca and, and, and even go out to the garden and look at it. Uh, and I think what's really wonderful too, we've, we've titled this uh, uh, social stimulus, London Feral, or Raising the Spirits of London Feral, and I'm excited about that because, uh, you know, it is a, a terrific opportunity to educate our community a little bit, but, uh, you know, we, we're really blessed to be able mm -hmm. to be on these grounds and to know the story behind them. Uh, so what I would suggest that you do is tell all of your friends to come here on October the 23rd and visit with us. Um, as we raise the spirits of London Feral, as we uh, maybe even enjoy some of the final uh, harvest here uh, that Seed Leaf and the wonderful gardeners may put together. We'll have some great food, we'll have some great stimulating conversation and exciting times. I'm glad you're going to be there, now you need to be there, and we hope to see you on October 23rd, Raising the Spirits of London Feral.